Hey guys, it's Dinkledork here, and today I wanted to talk about how to add internal cooldowns for various spells. Let's say you created a spell and you want to add some sort of internal cooldown so that it doesn't happen so frequently. Well, there's this table in your world database called Spell Proc Event, and this is actually where you would fill out the information for said proc. For example, I have this spell called Lightning Infused, states that your spell casts have a chance to blast your enemy with lightning, dealing X amount of damage to enemies near the target and stunning them for two seconds. Right now, the proc is set to 100%. So this will basically proc every time I cast the spell, regardless, and doesn't have any sort of an internal cooldown. So this spell proc event table actually controls quite a bit. There's Spell data you can actually change in the table itself if you wanted to change the mask, if you wanted to change the family name for which type of class. I don't really use it for that. There's two things I really use it for, which is um, this proc extra. For example, if I wanted to make it so that it procs on critical hits, I would add a two to the proc extra column here. But really what I'm interested in is this column at the very right hand side which is the cooldown column and this is done in milliseconds so if you wanted to have a 30 second internal cooldown on your spell that's basically what you would do is 35,000 and then you would put your spell ID in the entry section so if you leave the rest of these blank nothing will get overwritten in your spell DBC which is exactly what I want for testing purposes I'm just gonna go ahead and put this at five seconds for right now though I go ahead and restart my server now we're going to go ahead and test it out. Procced once right there. And it didn't proc there. But it went ahead and procced there. There you have it. That's how you do internal cooldowns. One final note on this spell proc event table. The spell that you put in here needs to be a trigger spell, so it needs to be either a periodic trigger spell or a spell or a proc trigger spell or something like that. So anyway, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you on the other side of Azeroth.